there, my name is Lisa Marie. I am one of Learning Tree Global's business consultants. I also just want to say thank you so much for signing up to our short online training video. In this training video, I am going to tell you how you can have your online coaching business up and running in no time, one without a website, and two without having to break the bank. Also, I want to add that if you do want to ramp things up, then we also have an incredible ebook that you will want to get your hands on as soon as possible. So don't wait too long to grab your ebook. There is a link at the bottom of this page. Don't waste any time. Go scroll down, click on it, and grab your copy. Right, so let's get started. So let's talk more on how you can start your online coaching business. Obviously, I can't give you all the tips in the short video, as there are too many. But the method that I am going to show you is a method that you can use right now to get your business up and running the quickest, the easiest, and the fastest way possible. So basically, a lot of people don't know this, but you can use your Facebook to start, run, and deliver your coaching business with. It's the cheapest and the easiest, like I've said previously, way to get yourself and your coaching business out there and in front of the public eye. And this is the exact same process that we used, and we've had massive success, not only with the Learning Tree Global, but for our customers as well. So one thing that I also would like to mention is that our ebook contains all of these steps, but in a lot more detail. You will find a step-by-step -step process in it where you can learn and implement each step in real time. So it's not just another nice to know book. You actually walk away with an up and running online coaching business, but only if you apply each step correctly. The first thing to start with is you need to ask yourself what you could teach someone. If you could teach someone a specific skill, what would it be? Then take that skill and break it down into smaller steps. These steps are what you will be building your online coaching business around. So your expertise is obviously the most important part here. I usually like to say to people, if you could be paid for giving advice, what would you like to be paid for? You can also try to think of something that you're really good at or a field that you are an expert in, something that someone else would want to be interested in learning. Once you have decided what you're going to be coaching on, the next thing to do is to create, sorry, to create a short one-page proposal in a Word document, which will be based on your skill. Here you want to explain what you will be coaching them on, as well as the benefits that they are going to be gaining from your coaching. Remember, you're offering a solution, so emphasize the problem that you will be solving for them. Also, you need to make sure it's about a page long, you're not writing an essay here, that information goes straight into your online coaching. Try to think of this as a business proposal or a sales pitch. Next, you're going to want to open up a Facebook business page. A Facebook business page is completely free and easy to set up. So basically, go into your private profile, um, of your Facebook page, look for a caption that says something along the lines of open up a page. It will either be on the top of the page or on the bottom. Then once you've located it, go ahead and create your page. This is a quick five minute process. Basically just name your page, upload your logo, add other basic information to your online coaching business. But I also need to emphasize it has to, has to be a Facebook business page. A lot of people think they can run their online coaching businesses from their private page. You can't. A business page can do a lot more for you as a business than a private profile can ever do. So let's make sure you do it right from the beginning. Then, once you've created your Facebook business page, you need to look at creating a Facebook group. So inside of your Facebook business page, there's going to be a button that states open a group, create a group. What you want to do is go ahead and create a group. Then next, you need to um, name your group. So the best practice is to name it the topic that you will be coaching on. So as an example, if I was coaching people on digital marketing, then my group's name could be something along the lines of how to generate more revenue through digital marketing, how to do digital marketing, or how to grow a business through digital marketing. I'm sure you get the picture. So this group's name has to, has to be relevant to the topic that you'll be coaching on. This group is basically what you'll be using to invite people who are possible customers to join and start interacting with you. Yeah. Now that you've got your own professional group, join other groups. Join groups that are discussing the same problem that you could solve. So as for, um, for an example, I would go and join entrepreneurial groups or a group where there's a community of small business owners. 
So for me, I know that small business owners all have a problem when it comes to digital marketing. They all want to learn about it and learn about increasing, um, increasing their sales. Excuse me. But don't just join one or two groups. Join a few. Um, two or three or more groups are specifically about adding value. So when you post on there, make sure it's of value to help the members, not just to, to promote yourself. As that will come naturally in a submissive way. Um, again, most people hate salespeople and hate it when people push things down their throat. Then after that, start engaging with the members of those groups. Look for comments, um, give advice, reply in the comment section. Remember, you have got expertise and this is what they're looking for. If someone is asking a question, share information. Remember, you want to position yourself as the expert in this field. You want to add value. So back to my digital marketing scenario. Once I've joined a group and um, see posts, someone posts something that they're struggling with on their Facebook business page, or perhaps they're struggling something in my area, um, something that I'm coaching on basically, um, I would then go and comment at the bottom of their post and give the guy maybe five or six tips and what they can do. But by doing this, I have just positioned myself as an expert in the field. More people will want to engage with me and eventually they also want to join my group as well. Why? Because my group has a more specialized topic than the general one that they're in right now. The idea is not to poach members from other groups. Remember that? The idea is to help them. Groups can also work together and rec recommend each other and help each other if they know that you can do something that they can't do. So also, make sure that you've got a good relationship with the group admins. If it's okay with the admins of that particular group, you can then even post um, a link based on what you're discussing in the groups back to your Facebook page. But it's only if it's okay with the admins. Otherwise, they will kick you off the group. And um, again, you can do exactly the same in um, your Facebook group. Um, if anyone's posting ads or anything that you don't want, you can kick them off. What posting a link on another group does for you is if the person you are talking to has, for example, 10,000 members in their group, and say two to three percent of those members see your group, then some of those um, some of those people in that group will join your group. And as soon as people start joining your group, um, sorry, my chair keeps moving. Um, as soon as people start joining your group, you basically just confirm that uh, people want your coaching, and it's in demand. As these people who have joined your group are looking for you to provide the solutions to their problems that they have been looking for. So basically, you're testing the market. Um, you're testing the market demand at the same time. People are wanting to follow you, want to learn what you can teach them by solving their needs and problems with your online coaching. Then once you've done this, keep repeating the same process and go back to the other groups and do the same thing. Just a quick reminder, if you do want to wrap things up and get the ball rolling quicker, then you definitely, definitely want to get your hands on our ebook. Simply scroll to the bottom of this page, click on the link below and... Um, Get your hands on our ebook and run things up.